but it's now officially the day that I'm going to Turkey to get my gastric sleeve and yeah guys the day's here Hi guys, so I've decided to start a little mini diary um, as I am now officially one week pre-gastric sleeve surgery. So today is Monday the, don't even have a watch on, Monday the 6th of March. Yeah, Monday the 6th of March and I am getting sleeved on Monday the 13th of March March 2023 which is next Monday so this time next week I will hopefully have already had my surgery and I will be recovering in Turkey so yeah I fly out next not next I fly out this Sunday so I get there the day before surgery and then yeah 24 hours later I will be waking up and ready to start my new life so yeah i just want to capture this um just something to look back on and you know hopefully see the transformation so i'm not feeling that nervous about it like i'm a little bit nervous about surgery and stuff because i've never like had anything done before i've never i don't think since like being a baby since so being born, I don't think I've ever really spent like overnight in hospital. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be kind of like a big thing. But I'm, I'm nervous a little bit, obviously, about <coughs> the operation itself. But I just feel like I've done so much research, and I know there's like a really low chance of like you know risks, complications, death rate, all that type of stuff. It's like really low, so it's a really safe procedure. So I'm not really that scared about it i'm a little bit scared about the pain though about the aftermath and um, the gas pain all that kind of stuff but you know what i'm just trusting in god that he will give me the strength to deal with the pain and it's gonna be okay and i'm thinking of the bigger picture like i'm just excited for the change like i can't wait for the weight loss i can't wait to feel healthier to be slimmer to fit in my clothes again like i was really hitting i'm wearing size 16 but i was that's probably like a tight size 16 like some jeans they're size 16 but they're tight they probably should be like an 18 so yeah i'm pushing my absolute limits and honestly i just can't wait to be healthier and smaller i'm not gonna lie and feel more confident in myself again and have more energy and like feel more confident even like going to the gym just going out with friends just getting back to my healthy self so yeah i'm excited for the change and i've bought all my stuff that I, well not all the stuff but i've bought majority of the things that i need so i've got like protein shakes protein yogurts mm, vitamins um all that type of stuff so i think i'm pretty much ready and some things i'll just buy them as time goes on but yeah like honestly i'm just i'm excited for the change like i'm excited for that weight loss i'm excited for just a new life just being more confident in myself and also better eating habits better food control portion control all of that stuff like i'm just ready for a change i'm tired of being tired and drained and exhausted and and happy and all that type of stuff and i'm just i'm excited so guys i don't know i'm gonna try and keep this up for like the rest of the week just to document how i'm feeling but yeah i look forward to watching this this time next year and seeing myself like transformed and hopefully i'll be in a much 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 healthier place healthier body who knows where i'll be living who knows who i'll be with who knows what life will be like but i'm excited so yeah so signing out of day one, um, day one of the countdown to gastric sleeve. Hi guys, so today is Tuesday and I'm now officially six days 
she up. He has six days before an asterisk sleeve. Um, I almost messed up my consistency in terms of doing a little mini video diary series, diary series every day um, the week before, every day in the week prior to leading up to surgery because I just don't know why I can't talk. Also I have my retainer in obviously so that is causing me to, to struggle to speak a little bit. But, um, yeah so officially six days to go until I go for surgery this time next week I will have been sleeved um, so yeah I'm just sort of doing my final prep and that involves shopping getting some last minute um, essentials so one of the things that I have bought is this gosh my lisp is so bad <laughs> Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I have bought is um, a protein shaker so this is obviously going to be really really important because I'm going to be having protein shakes pretty much um, pretty much the days so like straight after surgery and for a good wee while I think for those first two weeks I'll just be sort of protein shakes and I'm really gonna try and stay committed to that like I really want to try and be strict with myself and just you know those first like two weeks I really just want to stick to the liquids and then after that the soft foods and then after that solid food I don't want to rush anything because I really want this to work and honey I want those results quickly well not too quickly but quick like quick like in a good way because they say that you lose the most amount of weight in the first three months so I want to get like good habits on lock in those first three months and then after that once I've got the good habits you know in place it'll be like a good lifestyle and it'll be easier to manage things so yeah I'm digressing but I bought a protein shaker I tried to go for a metal one I didn't the plastic ones were nice don't get me wrong they were cute and stuff like that but you guys know me you know that I love my drinks to stay cold also I just felt like this looks a bit nicer than the plastic ones but yeah I like my drinks in cold so hence I went for the metal one because it's insulated but I also wanted one that had like a measuring bit here so that you can actually see um, how much like water or milk or whatever liquid you're putting in you can see exactly how much it is um, so yeah I was struggling like it was such a battle trying to find a protein shaker that was insulated but also had this measuring bit but that was clear because other ones had this bit but it was maybe on the inside or maybe this bit was like metal so you couldn't like actually see how much liquid you had but yeah I decided to go for that <coughs> and then yeah it's just got an opening lid like that and yeah it's just cute and simple here I go again saying cute but yeah I just went for a black one which is just stylish you can't go wrong and then yeah on the inside it just looks um like that and then it comes with the the protein shaker blender whatever you want to call it i don't know how good that is so i will be interested to try it out but i also did buy like the metal ball mixer as well so that i can make sure that protein shake is shaken and then i don't know why i actually bought the protein I don't know why I, bought, why I bought the metal ball shaker thing because I also bought this milk frother thing which I'm gonna use to blend um, any like protein shakes and also I'm gonna start taking like those vitamin greens like the liquid ones the powder and the water and stuff so yeah I got that so that I can mix it mix it mix it but yeah that is that is what I bought so yeah the little protein mixer stuff will arrive tomorrow and then I've already bought protein shakes actually I can show you guys those so I've never really never really been one to buy protein shakes so I've just been buying them like obviously for the surgery and kind of just doing a bit of guesswork and just buying flavors that I think I'll enjoy so I got this one in home bargains and it is a high protein bean matrix and it's a raspberry and white chocolate which is just a bit of me like I do love me white chocolate anything white chocolate cookies white chocolate raspberry milkshake I just I love that kind of 
flavour so yeah I thought let me get that in protein shake and I'm really hoping it'll taste good I've not tried it yet but I think I will try it before I go for surgery just so that I know that if I don't like it I can buy another one before I come back home and then I also got this balanced nutrition shake this is more like a meal a meal rather than um a protein shake this is from slim fast they kind of got me with the packaging to be honest like i saw the packaging and i was like this is cute let me get that so this one is strawberry and blueberry i'm not that keen on strawberry flavored stuff but i do like blueberry flavored stuff so yeah i thought this was quite good because it's got all the vitamins it's got a lot of lots of protein it's plant-based and you know all that good stuff and it's low in calories it's 200 calories so this is the type of stuff that I'm going to be consuming after surgery because obviously I won't be able to eat them. And then I also bought one more protein shake which is downstairs which is salted caramel flavour and that one is pretty good. I had that yesterday and I actually enjoyed it so that one is all good. So yeah guys that is it but um, yeah, in terms of how I'm feeling I'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie. I'm like obviously the concerns I was talking about last night like is it gonna work am I gonna be okay am I gonna have complications but honestly I'm just trusting that I'm I honestly do think I'm gonna be fine and I know I'm in good hands and I'm trusting in God Almighty and you know what everything happens for a reason so I'm just excited for change and yeah I can't wait for it to be over like the surgery to be over so that I can start recovering and seeing the results but yeah anyway guys that's it for today I will fill you guys in tomorrow when I'm five days out hi guys so officially day five before surgery and yay to me for keeping consistent with my little diary series also don't mind my hands they're very very dry because I was doing the dishes but um yeah latest update so today my protein shaker mixer things came i don't know what the official name is yeah shaker shaker ball so um yeah these will go inside my protein cups and then yeah when i've got like the protein powder and stuff so that it can like blend and all you healthy people know exactly what these are but um i didn't realize they came like flat pack i was expecting them to just be like a ball but um yeah that is the latest purchase um today i'm feeling excited like i'm just i'm excited for the surgery to be over like i just i, I can't wait for it to just be over so that um I'm not like sitting thinking about it, dwelling on it, considering everything. Like I just, I just want it to be over already. So I'm excited and yeah, I just can't wait for the results. So I've not started packing yet. Um, that is going to be a task for Friday slash Saturday. And then I won't really need to pack much to be honest. I've only booked like two pieces pieces of hand luggage so like a mini like a small suitcase and then like a big like under the seat bag as well so i think that'll be plenty for me because i'm only going to be in hospital i'm not staying in the hotel or anything like that and i'm only staying for four nights so i'm doing one night which is the night that i that i arrive and then three nights in hospital after the surgery and then i come home so i'm literally going to be packing pajamas joggies night dresses leggings that kind of stuff and it's not even going to be much so yeah that should give me space and then that should also mean that i will have enough space for the things that that they're going to give me um for coming home like all my protein shakes and nutrients and vitamins and all that good stuff so yeah that is it for tonight's video diary and i shall catch you guys tomorrow tomorrow is also my last day of eating food as as i know it eating and food at the same eating and drinking at the same time um 
yeah indulging binging all that bad stuff so i start my three-day pre-op diet on friday which will be friday saturday sunday three days before surgery so yeah tomorrow's officially my last day so i'm gonna treat myself to like a subway salad for lunch and you're probably thinking why would i treat myself to that for lunch but i'll be at work i'll be in the office i'm not gonna be like going all out and getting something crazy but yeah i thought i might as well buy something for lunch normally i would just like bring in food but um yeah i'll have a treat tomorrow and then i'm just gonna eat all the snacks that i can and like get it all out my system so that i'm not like missing things and craving them when i start my uh, liver reduction diet on friday so yeah guys i shall catch you tomorrow for the final day of food as i know it <laughs> hello guys oh i just started crying so i thought i'd start my oh my hair my little diary for today today is day four days away from surgery and i think today it's like hitting me a bit more that this is like really real now like it's literally life-changing <laughs> like i'm excited i'm nervous but it's like i like, like i was saying yesterday i just i can't wait for the surgery to be over like i just and i honestly feel like this time next year when i look back at this video i'll probably cry again because i'll be like, hopefully looking in fact not hopefully i will be looking back at how different things are like honestly i'm so confident that this time next year i'll be in a much better place i'll be healthier i'll be happier i'll be that girl <laughs> i'll be doing the things that i've always wanted to do but um like always felt like i couldn't do them more like i've let my weight like hold me back so yeah guys it is really happening today is the last time that I could, I could eat as much as I wanted to my heart's content so yeah I went for well for lunch I went and got subway salad I stuck with my salad my chicken salad <laughs> um, and then I should have like treated myself to like KFC or something but then I think on my way home I kind of forgot because I went and I had to go get like cash for the surgery and stuff so kind of forgot about that but I just kind of treated myself a little bit and had like chocolate and like a fizzy drink and my putty and just you know just snacks and things so I've enjoyed myself and I'm having a protein yogurt I'm sure I'll be eating plenty of those um but yeah last day of indulging and from tomorrow the journey begins. <laughs> guys update to the diary today is officially three days before surgery and i'm having i'm doing my liver reduction diet that i was talking about yesterday so i'm gonna have my slim fast cafe latte um it's like a meal replacement i guess so it's it says tasty balanced meal and it's got lots of protein in it it's got lots of vitamins and it's a source of fiber and it's got iron so yeah i'm hoping this will taste good and i think this will be quite good after surgery as well because it'll give me all the nutrients that i need well not all the nutrients but a lot of the nutrients that i need also lots of protein and hopefully you know a good taste as well no added sugar which is also a bonus plus see you guys when i love my coffee and i'm not gonna be able to have coffee for i think a month or so so if i can find alternatives then that is bad so i'll update you guys later tonight um on whether it tasted good or not so i'm just on my lunch break and i thought um, I might as well quickly start packing while I've got a bit of time so it's still the same day as this morning when I was drinking my coffee drink but um, yeah so in terms of my luggage right, so let me flip the camera so yeah I was just saying um, in terms of my luggage I'm gonna take this small cabin bag here it's quite small but it's actually pretty big for a small bag if that makes sense and then I'm going to put you guys this way because the lighting is a little bit better. 
So yeah, I'll take that and then I'm also going to take this bag here, which is small enough to fit under the seat on the planes. So I'm going to be flying with three different airlines. Um, I'm going to be flying with EasyJet, with Pegasus, Pegasus, I don't know how you say it, and Ryanair. So yeah, lots of different luggage requirements, but um, the two cabin bags should be enough to to yeah to cover me for the next few days so guys it is officially getting real now today is friday the what's the date friday the oh, i can check actually friday the 10th of march and this girl is getting her gastric sleeve on monday the 13th of march so officially three days to go until my surgery and it's getting real <laughs> it is getting real i am starting to pack my bags so i am just taking like this cabin bag here which is quite a big bag for like a small bag if that makes sense and then i'm also going to take this bag here again quite a big bag for a small bag but it it fits under the seat for all the different airlines so yeah I'm not taking an awful lot of stuff because I'm literally just going to be in hospital the whole time. I'm not even staying in hospital. The only time I'm going to leave the hospital is to go home. So yeah, it's just mostly going to be pyjamas and loungewear. Um, and then that's it. So yeah guys, it is getting real. I will update you guys later on and then yeah i don't know when the next time i'll catch up with you guys will be maybe in hospital i don't know but yeah it's happening so it is still day one of the liver reduction diet um i'm not even gonna lie i feel really hungry i've had the cafe latte slim shake slim slim fast <laughs> slim fast meal meal shake replacement that is a tongue twister and um, yeah i've had that i've been trying to drink lots of water i did cheat a little bit this morning and had coffee that had a bit like creamer in it because it was the coffee from bali so it was already mixed in i was gonna i would have had coffee with like just milk but we actually ran out of coffee hence why i got that i just used the bali mix but anyway yeah i got my coffee fix for the day and then i had a protein um protein yogurt one of the pro like little protein yogurts it wasn't that great to be honest it was like raspberry and pomegranate which i usually like raspberry flavored things but this one was sugar free and you could taste all the protein it just tasted a bit sour which wasn't too good but anyway yeah i am having this pro milk um chocolate protein shake now so i'm getting all my protein in like to the max guys i'm serious about this weight loss so yeah i'm gonna have that and then i don't know for dinner i guess i'll have like soup or something because this girl is hungry and i'm so glad that i only need to do this diet for three days some people do it for like a month but then i think the people who do it for a month can actually like eat food and stuff because there's no way you could survive a month with just like liquids um but yeah so let's see if it's good it's actually not bad that's actually pleasantly nice i wasn't expecting that it honestly tastes like a chocolate milkshake but um less sugary like chocolate ice cream that's melted okay yeah, this I could definitely enjoy more. I'm gonna go buy more of these. I got them in Asda. Um, so they don't have any added sugar and they're fat free, so that's good. So I'm definitely gonna be upping my intake of these. I might do like a protein shake later as well, but I feel like I'm going over the top with all the protein stuff. Um, like I'm literally gonna be <laughs> pouring out protein, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. That is the latest update on the, the first day of my three day liver reduction diet. So that is me officially all packed for my gastric sleeve surgery. So I am pretty much packed and ready to head to Turkey tomorrow. Um, I've 
kept my bags pretty pretty light so in terms of packing what i've got here on this side i've taken a heat pad i've got some cup of soups because i hear the soup in the hospital isn't always great i've packed some socks and um, i've got my eye mask for when i sleep and then <clears throat> over on this side i've got my protein shaker it's a metal one which is pretty cool so it'll keep the drinks nice and cold um i've got my little fan just in case i get too hot i've got my toiletries in here um so i've got all the essentials like wipes um sponge flannels lip balm um tissues some lotion some vaseline in there and i've got a few other bits and pieces and then the liquid toiletries are oh damn it <laughs> are in the other little bag over here i'll show you guys in a second so i put two bags um one bag's got what the essentials sort of for during the day when I'm traveling. So I've got some deodorant, some lotion, um, some perfume and hand sanitizer. And then the other one that is just tipped out's got all the other essentials like, you know, toothpaste, mouthwash, shower gel, um, more sanitizer, face wash, those kinds of those kinds of things. And then in terms of clothes wise, my pack's quite light, so I've taken a hoodie, I've taken two tops, a mirror, a pair of joggies, um, leggings. This has got like period stuff, like pads and all that, just in case my period decides to start. I've packed lots and lots of socks because I like to be warm. For pyjamas, I've packed like five pairs, I'm not going to lie. So I've got one pair here, a nightdress, another nightdress just in there, you can't really see it. Then I've got these pyjamas. And then I've got one more set of pyjamas, which is long sleeved. Um, I've got my towel, I've got sports bras, the, un the one with no wiring. And then, yeah, in this bag, I've just kept it light. So I've got like my book for in case I get bored, my camera, headphones, a scarf, um, tripod. And then I think pretty much those are the main things so yeah I'm, I'm gonna be in hospital the whole time that i'm in turkey so hence why i've only packed really really light i've not taken much with me um yeah so that's about it so guys the journey is starting i shall yeah i shall keep you guys posted this is the most attractive angle ever but anyway i'm staying loyal and consistent and committed to my video diary so today is like saturday night technically sunday morning it's sunday morning at like 1am and it is technically technically the night before um i'm going for my surgery but technically the day that i'm going but it's now officially the day that i'm going to turkey to get my gastric sleeve and yeah guys the day's here do you know what i actually feel a bit more like excited and more calm and like it's here and like i'm just i've been really reading some really positive stories and like positive comments and feedback over the last day or two so it's really like lifted my mood and i've just seen some amazing results so i'm just i'm so excited for my time to come and i'm excited for those results to start showing in a few months time so yeah um yeah i'm looking forward to just being out of surgery and not in pain but i'm gonna go to sleep now i've literally got like a 45 minute power nap and then i need to be up so my mom and dad are gonna take me to the airport so we're gonna head out for about three and i'm so thankful they're taking me because it has snowed tonight which yeah and that would have been a pain so i'm really really grateful that um that they're taking me it saves me a lot of hassle so yeah we're gonna head out at 3 a.m and like i said right now it's about quarter to two so i need to power nap and then wake up shower get ready and then yeah head off to italy and then from italy we'll head off to edinburgh edinburgh to italy italy to turkey and then yeah i'm not too fast about not sleeping right now to be fair because i'm sure i'll sleep plenty after surgery <laughs> so yeah that is it for the video series video diary 
officially one day pre-op and yeah I guess tomorrow I'll do a quick little update and then tomorrow will be the last update before the surgery. Excited. Look at the bags under my eyes though. But anyway, we'll remove. <laughs> So guys, I'm officially in hospital now. I've been checked in, admitted, all that good stuff. Had my blood taken now and also had my COVID test done. So yeah, I'll be waiting for those results. But um, the journey has truly begun. The journey here was fine. Um, flew in from Edinburgh to Milan and Milan to Turkey. So it was a bit of a long journey, but I'm here and I'll give you guys a quick tour of the room so it's quite spacious you've got the main front door there then the bathroom here the bathroom is a little bit dark i will admit but it's a big old shower big sink and then yeah a little bit dull and dark but we move then you've got the toilet then we've got cupboards here in the cupboard and then you've got the room here with the bed, it's got a TV, got a sofa area so I guess this sofa might be like a sofa bed so if you do bring someone they'd probably sleep there but yeah pretty simple but nice and clean and I'll be happy here for the next few days so yeah Guys, I am exhausted. I took a nap, well, not took a nap. I dozed off while sitting on the sofa. But, um, yeah, they just brought in some food. It smells good, probably because I am starving. I got some soup, some pasta, and some veg. And I cannot wait to dig in. And then I've also got some more soup, I guess. Let's see. Let's just got water. Not sure, but yeah. We move. Update. Um, I've just had one of the clinic club members come up to my room and like introduce herself. She's taking the payment. She's giving me the paperwork. Um, I don't really know what her job is, I don't think she's a coordinator, but I guess she's maybe like a hospital 
organize our coordinator i'm not sure oh sorry guys but yeah they've also brought dinner up so i've got some tomato soup i think it is they also brought like a pasta thing and some like veg but obviously i can't eat it because of doing the liquid diet so that's a bit disappointing i was ready to dig in and then she walked in and she was like doing all the paperwork and then just before she left she was like don't forget you can only have liquids so yeah and the food smells good but i think it smells good because i'm hungry but anyway i'm thinking of the greater good so yeah I'm, the soup is actually not bad and i've still got my protein shake and then i'm just gonna have water and stuff they gave me yogurt as well i don't know if i can have the yogurt but um yeah that should keep me going until tomorrow morning and then tomorrow morning they're gonna come and get me at 12 or, no 7 45 and then i'll find out like you know what time i'm getting my surgery and things like that so i will keep you guys posted all right guys so the rep has just come round and given me two bottles of laxative these are huge 250 mls so i'm gonna need to down that and i can't have any more liquid after midnight i still need to have the laxative after midnight but i need to have one now and then one in an hour so i don't know what time it is but um yeah i'm dreading taking this i don't think it's gonna be fun but i'm just thankful that today i've only had a bowl of soup and one protein shake so can't be that bad but we move this medicine this laxative is giving coke but flat but medicine at the same time hmm. i need some water because this is not it great all right so i'm gonna try and down this um before i go in for my shower because then i need to wait one hour to drink the other one and i need to finish that wish me luck oh do you know what's actually not that bad but i just I don't like the sound of taking a laxative. It just doesn't sit well with me. And you guys know that if I don't like the sound of something, I'm not gonna eat it. sudden I am so glad that I did not eat that pasta and the veg, the hospital food. Oh my god, this is a lot. just had my first bottle of laxative and just trying to finish the second bottle and it is horrid that part is definitely the most horrible part so far of this experience at first when i took laxatives i just thought <clears throat> it's not that bad but then when they started kicking in it was that bad and this is coming from someone who's only eaten soup a protein shake and bottles of water today that's all I've had and it is kicking my ass but I hope this is the worst of it so yeah
Hi right, guys, I don't think I've actually updated this video diary much since surgery. Your girl is alive and well. She is living. Um, surgery was on Monday. Today's my Wednesday, and I'm going home tomorrow. So the days have just flown by so quickly. Um, yeah, I'm just in the middle of making one of the protein shakes that I was given by the <coughs> well, the dietitian who came to see me yesterday. So I, I picked the coffee flavored one because coffee is life and I can't have coffee for the next month so yeah I'm gonna have to just find alternatives but um yeah yesterday I had the visit from the dietitian which is good she gave me some vitamins some protein she gave me this cup also like some lacto-free milk and stuff like that um just to kick start my new lifestyle so for this first week like for the first week since surgery, it's gonna be um, liquid, it's gonna be a liquid diet. And then after that, it'll be, I'll move to soft foods, like pureed foods. And then after that, I'll be able to start slowly introducing solid food. So yeah, liquid diet is literally what I was doing just before surgery and we are back at it. But yeah, pain-wise, the first day after surgery, I was in a lot of pain. Um, when I first woke up after the surgery, that was brutal. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it was really, really bad. In that moment, I definitely thought to myself, hmm, is this worth it? But the pain has decreased dramatically, so I can cope now. Um, they've given me a lot of pain meds, which has been good. And the doctors have been coming to check on me, like, regularly. Like, one doctor was literally in this morning at, like, 4 a.m. giving me some painkillers, and then... Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, they literally just come and check on you, like, all the time. Like, like you're in good hands, so no, I definitely can't complain. Um, They've taken very good care of me and yeah, I'm excited to see the changes start to kick in in a few weeks time. I feel like by the time I go home, I'll probably have lost some weight because um, like I've not even been eating much since being here. Oh, this smells so good. I'm so excited to have this. Like yesterday, I, I had nothing after water. The day before, which was Monday, I had nothing after surgery. Didn't even have water or anything. So yesterday was the first day that I could drink water, and then today I'm having my first protein shake. So I'm just like, I'm excited. We are moving. Right, I hope I've closed this properly. Yeah, that smells so good. I'm excited to drink this. It's coffee flavored, like I said, and oh, I just love coffee. Look, it's the color is even turning brown, giving coffee vibes. Oh, I'm here for this. And then, yeah, I need to make sure that I'm drinking two of these daily. So yesterday I managed to drink two, and today I'm gonna effort, today I'm gonna make effort to drink two more. But yeah, ooh, 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 this is leaking. Guys, that is the update for today. So I will catch you guys later i know i am looking so crusty but there is a small win i have almost managed to finish one and a half of these and i know it doesn't seem like a big victory but it is because yesterday i think i only managed to finish one of these so basically i'm on track to finish at least two or two and a half because the dietitian has said to me that i should drink two of these and yeah this is the this is like the first full one and then the other one I'm already like halfway through it. So it's only what, maybe 3 p.m. right now, which means that by the time I finish the second one, I'll still have a few hours left in the day to go so I can probably drink a third one, which is massive, 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 massive. We are taking baby steps, but we are moving forward and I love that.
Okay, so quick little update. I was just about to start packing and then I noticed one of my bandages or one of my scars was leaking. It was bleeding a little bit, a little bit too much. So I just called one of the nurses to come and change that. So yeah, that's been changed. So I'm just gonna sit down for a little bit, take it easy, just lay back and then continue with my packing. So yeah. Day, I don't know, I've lost track of the days. I was gonna say day five, but day five of the video diary series. But I started this a week ago, well, more than a week ago. I started it when I was seven days pre op, so seven plus five, 13. I guess day 13, day 12. Anyway, last day in hospital today. I am being discharged and I'm heading home. and oh i feel good i feel excited i'm not that tired at the moment i'm not that hungry despite not eating a lot but i was hungry during the night so i definitely want to get some something at the airport something that i can eat within my liquids diet but overall i'm just happy to be going home happy to be going to start this new journey i feel like i've started losing weight already i feel like my stomach is looking a little bit smaller so we love that and yeah i'm just excited i'm not in pain right now at the moment and i was able to have a shower so i feel nice and fresh and i'm just excited to be going home Oh, right guys don't even mind how bummy i look i've literally just woken up um but yeah today is officially seven days post-op this time last week i was literally just out of surgery by about an hour or so so it's gonna be my f one week weigh-in i was gonna say my first weigh-in but i weighed myself when i got home and obviously got weighed just before the surgery so yeah today i'm gonna be being myself and i'm nervous like i hope i've lost a fair amount of weight but at the same time do you know what slow and steady wins the race so here's the hoping for a few pounds let's go and see hello video diary series oh i'm trying to sort out the light in here but there we go anyway I have not updated this in a few days, but I am now officially, when I say nine days post-op, right, so I had it on Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep, nine days post-op, and you know what, I'm feeling really good. Like, I'm, I'm well, in terms of pain-wise, most of the pain is gone. Um, I do still have a bit of pain on like the incisions, like if I stand up or if I like a stretch or um, just, you know, move too much. Like if I just do it too much and it's sore, but let's say if I'm just sitting, doing nothing, that's not doing anything that's like strenuous, then it's totally fine. Um, Energy-wise, it is improving a little bit. Um, I've been having like soups and shakes and trying to drink my water I will say trying to drink two liters of water has been impossible like I've, I've the most I've drank is probably a liter and a half max that was probably a good day and since then I don't think I've done that like most days if I'm being honest I probably get like 500 mils of water like getting a liter of water is a really good day for me so I really need to work on increasing that um, I'm still not back at work yet so I was meant to go back to work on Tuesday which was yesterday today's now Wednesday and I called in sick again because I just feel so tired and also my job is just so stressful so I just don't want to go back right now because I know if I'm stressed out 
like it's just gonna elongate the recovery process so like I, I just still feel feel a bit fragile to be honest like things are just a little bit slower like just doing tasks takes a wee bit longer making the bed takes a little bit longer climbing the stairs takes a little bit longer like i was saying my energy is still not back like not back yet and it's not going to be back for quite a while but i guess because i'm only because over the last few days i've only been having soup and shakes and yogurts so and also it's probably been like less than a thousand calories a day so of course i'm i'm not getting like much energy but i got some good news today so i had a check-in i'm gonna have weekly check-ins with a dietitian and she has given me the go ahead to start introducing soft food so i am so 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 happy because i cannot wait to like start eating like eggs well i actually already had eggs today like so today she said i can start eating the soft food so i made my favorite i made scrambled eggs with spinach and i made two eggs but i didn't ma that was for breakfast or brunch i guess i didn't manage to eat it all I only managed to eat probably about half which was good and um, so it's good that i'm getting full quickly and then i also had a bit of salmon on the side it was literally like a tablespoon worth of salmon like it was small small and i managed to eat all of that but to be honest towards the end of like that whole meal i was definitely struggling a little bit so it's good that you know i am getting full with like small quantities of food because that is the plan i still want to enjoy my food but just in smaller quantities and then in the evening i had some chicken skewers um just from Aldi so I just split those up into two and um, I had half a portion excuse me whoa I had half a portion for like dinner and then later on I felt a bit hungry again so then I had the other half which was good um, and then I had a yogurt in the morning as well so I still need to make sure I'm getting like lots of protein so everything I've had today like I've hit my protein target which is great um I didn't have I didn't have a protein shake, which reminds me I didn't even finish the protein milkshake. Oh my god! So I need to do that tomorrow. I just really need to make sure I'm focusing on my protein and my liquids. But I'm happy, and I feel like now that I can have food again, it's gonna um, help like with recovery and with bringing my energy up. So for work tomorrow, I think I'm just gonna call in sick again. I'm just gonna take it easy just gonna take rest because really and truly i actually only had surgery nine days ago and i just i don't feel ready to go back to work so i'm gonna take the time like i don't need to rush this my body needs to adjust and i don't know how i'm gonna feel as i'm like eating different food and like adjusting to it and like my stomach is like just taking it all in so well my eyes look so big but um just looking at my skin what did i miss i didn't spread my serum properly but anyway yeah that is the update so i'm feeling good feeling excited i've lost weight as well which is amazing and i feel like my face looks a little bit slimmer already which is fabulous don't look at the sides don't look at the double chin <laughs> but no i'm really happy and honestly i'm just I'm looking forward to the transformation so yeah, that is the little update for today. I'm probably not going to do like daily updates now that things are getting better. I'll probably do like, you know, a little update if there's something exciting or yeah, if there's like something important to update, I guess, um, or maybe once a week, that kind of vibe. In terms of weight loss, I am 18 pounds away from reaching the 14 14s category so i'll be down to 14 stone like 14 stone 13 or whatever it is like i'll be in the 14s which is good so since the surgery since i started like the liquid diet before the surgery before everything i have lost i think eight pounds so i'm happy with that like might be slow to some people but you know what it's probably slower than what i had initially hoped because some people are losing like a stone to a stone in the first week but then also some people are at different sizes and do you know what if if i'm losing eight pounds every 10 days that is pretty good like i'm really happy with that and i feel like that'll be like sustainable long term and you know it'll produce like 
um excess skin and all that type of stuff so no i'm really really happy like essentially i just want to lose like at least one or two pounds every week and your girl will be at her goal weight before she knows it but yeah that is the update for today for march the 22nd